Hi there, it's Toy here, and I want to show you some stuff. <laughs> I feel like it's been a while since I've done a haul and um, well I mean I'm all the time like acquiring stuff I think that's kind of at least in Western society is the human condition we're always acquiring stuff unless you really like actively taking on a minimalist mentality but um, I, would, I think I, I do keep it a lot more minimum than I used to so most of the time when I do these like months have passed because it takes me a while to accumulate things and I think that's a good thing. So anyway, I'm going to show you some things I've gotten. And because this is sort of kind of a little channel, I'm going to start with the book. Now, I will say that I don't usually haul digital content because if I did a haul for all my digital content, I will be posting nothing but hauls about digital <laughs> content. I'm constantly either buying or downloading digital content. So that's nothing special there. But this, I got this recommendation from the sister sci-fi newsletter and I was very excited to get it and just thought I'd show it to you it's called after the rain and it is a graphic novel and I just downloaded it yesterday I don't think it's long so I'll probably sit down tonight and read that excited about that and let's get into some of the books so for the first time since you know the world became what it is and <laughs> I went out to do something that was um just like social, like I've, I've gone out, obviously things have gotten better to where like I can go out and get like groceries and stuff like that. I think a few weeks back was the first time my husband and I ate outside of our home again, but still like following all the precautions and stuff like that. But I've not done like, I've not gone to a bookstore in since 2000, since like January or Feb, since February of 2020. So I did that for the first time, like last weekend or something, and I actually found a large print copy of one of my favorite cozy mystery authors, Ellen Jacobson's Roller, Ro Robbery at the Roller Derby. This is actually a prequel to her series, and when I saw it, I was just like, yes, I have to have that. I mean, clearly, I've already read this book. I got it digitally. I, I, I consume mostly digital content because it's better for my budget, but obviously I do buy print too so I've got this to go add to my book collection now so here is some graphic novel content that I've recently picked up <clears throat> the unbeatable squirrel girl beats up the Marvel Universe I've been wanting this for a while uh, if you don't know anything about squirrel girl I can't explain it to you now but she's basically like this kind of hidden gem in the Marvel Universe and supposedly she has like defeated all the big bads. <laughs> they never really tell you how she defeats them, but it's just it's funny, it's great stuff. I love Squirrel Girl, so I'm happy to pick this up. And um I've been collecting the different um books in the Miss Marvel series. This is two, this is three, four, and five. I should have pulled out one. I, I, I guess because I got one like years ago, I forgot to just pull that one out with them. So anyway, I'm just continuing to add to that collection. And then this is something that my husband picked up for me because he's just a really wonderful guy. He knows that I love um, fantasy and I like dragons. And so he thought this would be something cool that I would be interested in. I haven't read it yet, but doesn't it look really cool? So I'm excited to get into it. I mean, a brown woman on the cover and there's a dragon in the background what more could I ask for we'll find out so that was my bookish stuff let me grab some other things that I want to share with you um we are also constantly adding to our vinyl collection not that we need to be doing that but it is what it is and since we are still settling into our new place we don't have quite the organization that we would like but when we get there It'll be good. So we've actually collected more vinyl um, in the in the months that we've been here since January, but it's just all disorganized. These were the two <laughs> that I was able to pull out and say, hey, I know this was a fairly recent purchase. And so we got a, looks like this is the blue album from Weezer. We got that. I've been wanting that for a while. And then one of my new favorite artists, 
um, that we discovered. We're going to try to get more of her stuff, but this is, um, what is this one called? This one is called The Moon and the Stars. This is Valerie June. She has a very unique and eclectic sound. She's been around for a while, but she's only recently beginning like this like super huge buzz. Like everyone is talking about her right now, which I think is great because a lot of times people discover someone as though they're brand new, only to find out they've been around for a while. I think the same thing happened with Lizzo. Like she had been around for a while, but then people started talking about her. So that's what's happening with Valerie June right now. So we, you know, made those purchases. Wish her all the best. Let's see what else I have. Okay, here are some knickknacks that I just felt like sharing. Ignore the pile of stuff over there. Where do you know what that is? I think that's the workout equipment that I'm not currently using. So um, I am not a big coffee drinker. I mostly drink, um, in terms of warm beverages, tea or hot chocolate, um, mostly tea. But, you know, hot cocoa is so comforting. But still, I find myself purchasing large mugs because I also I use them for soup. I know that's weird. That's a mug, but I'll put like a small amount of soup in it. And sometimes cereal as a snack. Regardless, I got a new sloth mug. Isn't it so adorable? Look at that face. Look at that little arm. So this is my new sloth mug. I have not christened it yet. On the back it says, live slow. And I think that's perfect for someone like me who loves to read. I mean, reading is not exactly a, a fast activity. so. So I had to recently, oh, let me reach for this so I can show it to you. I had to recently retire my old um, wallet. This is, I've had this forever, but the clasp on it is broken. Some of the interior lining is falling apart, like my swing fall out of it now. So it's been retired, but I'm keeping it because obviously there's like a color scheme thing going on here. So, um, but I can't use it. It's not good for my everyday. So my husband, again, being the wonderful guy that he is, found me something new that I am so excited to share with you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Bam! This is my new wallet. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> I think what's really cool is it has this really cool DC plate on the back that's just like this amazing decal. And this all has a space in it. And I even love that the little part where the money goes has like a lining in it. And that's my, um, what is that? Oh, that's my vaccine card. <laughs> there's no dollar bills in there, but there's cards in here. <laughs> but yes, I love this new little wallet. I Oh my goodness. My husband's awesome, guys. So let's see. I think that was, oh, I also, this, there's nothing special about this really, but I don't know if you notice, I always have like this blanket <clears throat> in my chair. I take it with me around the house. I cuddle up on the couch with it. My mom said she's going to get me another one, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm fine with the one that I have. But then my husband bought me a purple one. And you're all like, why is that special? Well, the color scheme in my bedroom is navy blue and purple. So this is perfect for the bedroom. Maybe I will try to get a black and yellow one from my office at some point. Okay, so the last two things that I want to share with you have a bit of a story. But I'm not going to drag this on too much longer. Um, I posted something on my personal Facebook profile a while back, um, and it was just, you know, uh, I was doing it as just kind of an affirmation for myself. I wanted to inspire someone else. Um, the idea is that you have no idea what's going on in someone else. Like something that seems trivial or small to you might be huge for someone else. And basically, I posted a picture of me wearing a pair of sandals because it's been well over two years, but I just posted that it had been two years since I had worn a pair of sandals for a number of medical and physical limitations that I have. And so these are the sandals that I was able to wear for the first time in well over two years. Um, they have an orthopedic support and I, I'm going to be real. I mean, they're not the, like a magical answer to, I can't wear them for a long period of time, but the fact that I can wear them and walk around a bookstore, I mean, you just, <laughs> I can't explain it. I literally, it's, I said it's been over two years, but the actual number is just that. So, uh, those are my new sandals. And I also got a new pair of um, walking, running shoes, daily wear. Um, this is the kind of thing that I would wear on a regular basis, again, because of my medical and physical conditions. 
and I had a pair that were kind of white with these blue streaks on them and they got the job done but I think these look a lot better <laughs> than the other ones so again you this may not be like a big deal to you, but for me to own more than one pair of shoes and be able to walk around and just feel like a normal person and not just be that person with that one pair of orthopedic shoes is a big deal for me. So I think that was everything I had in my little goodie bag to share. So I hope you enjoyed some of this stuff. You can tell me some of the stuff you've gotten recently. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share that, do something fun for you guys. I just finished recording a video for my um, Patreon um, supporters, and I thought while I was here, I'd throw this together. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye for now.